In today's Private Market Poll snapshot, the one thing I'm focused on is this. The recent trend of broadly syndicated loans, the BSL market, taking market share back from private credit and whether that could continue. Well, first, let's take a step back and take a quick look at how this market share balance evolved over time. Over the past few decades, particularly after the global financial crisis, stricter regulations and capital requirements led to a significant decline in bank lending. As a result, non-bank lenders, which include private credit, stepped in to fill in this gap. Since 1994, bank share of the leveraged loan market went from 72% to around 15% on average in the past five years. In the meantime, non-banks have seen their share increase to roughly 85%. But since the start of 2024, the leveraged loan market has experienced a significant uptick in new issuance activity and the direct lending share has dropped somewhat. For example, looking at the CLO market, collateralized loan obligations, the share of middle market CLOs decreased to 18% as of April of this year, which is down from 23% as of 2023. Now, the surge in new issue activity was led primarily by a wave of companies repricing or refinancing their existing loans, and that represents about 75% that came from these repricing and refinancing transactions. Many of these borrowers turned to the BSL market over private credit. In fact, the first half of 2024 marked the busiest first half on record since at least 2011, with U.S. institutional loan issuance activity approaching a whopping $736 billion. Now, for perspective, that is more than the overall activity throughout all of 2022 and 23 combined. This also meant that some of the existing private credit loans got replaced with broadly syndicated loans. For example, in the first half of this year, roughly $17 billion of loans previously provided by direct lenders were refinanced in the BSL market, and that is a big increase from the just $2 billion that were refinanced in the BSL market in 2023. And in fact, the trend was quite the opposite back then. It's the broadly syndicated loans that were being refied by direct lending. So what drove the surge in public leverage loan issuance and will it mean less direct lending going forward? Well, what drove the surge in activity in BSL is the relatively lower level of spreads versus direct lending and the public capital markets that have reopened. For example, private credit loans have historically averaged a spread of 100 to 200 basis points over syndicated loans. That premium shrank in the summer and fall of 2022 when leveraged loan spreads wind out substantially because of macroeconomic uncertainty, and they were much closer back then to direct lending spreads. But since 2023, the gap has normalized once again, making BSL loans cheaper than private credit. However, this dynamic is starting to shift yet again. Private credit lenders have already responded by lowering spreads on new deals. Looking at the distribution of spreads for private credit, for example, you could see that in the second half of 2023, over 81% of new issue direct lending loans had spreads of at least SOFR plus 600 basis points. But at the end of the first half of 2024, that number is only 17%. And as the spreads have decreased, private credit has also managed to win back some market share. Now, looking ahead, we see two other reasons why demand for private credit should remain robust. First, it is the possible further upturn in M&A activity. Indeed, many lenders are beginning to see an uptick in their pipelines. And with a record 30% of private equity-backed funds that are seven years or older, they are looking to monetize their investments and they should support deal activity over the coming quarters and therefore the need for financing. Now, second, regardless of pricing, it is also the less tangible attributes of private credit that drive demand for it. The big appeal of private credit for companies is that it often offers borrowers more customized and bespoke financing solutions and also gives them more flexibility than traditional lenders in terms of payment types, duration, and more. Bottom line, while it is natural for borrowers to shift their preferences based on market conditions, we see plenty of room for both the broadly syndicated loan and direct lending market to coexist and complement each other. And that's your one thing in private markets this week.